Hello friends, today I want to talk about self-esteem. Self-esteem, um, it's an emotional, it's a marker that is developed when we are a very early age, when we are able to distinguish um, the separation from my primary care provider, most likely my mother. Uh, although I'm not going to say that it's only the mother because it could be the father who is the primary uh, care provider for the individual. So when the when the child discovers that that is my mom and this is me, the individual start um, discovering that uh, they operate uh, independently from the primary uh, care provider, and then the auto, then the self esteem uh, begins to develop. Uh, the self esteem it's a marker that uh, allow us to see how aware is my relationship with the world, um, how is my relationship with my peers, how is my relationship with my friends, how is my relationships with my co-workers, how is my relationship in society. It tells me my self-worth. Uh, it tells me if I'm worth something or if I'm worthless. Uh, so depending on how my self-esteem is developed, I may have a healthy enough self-esteem where I will have the ability to think and to be and to behave in a way that says I can do that, I can't accomplish that goal, I can conquer the new task, I'll be able to develop that new skill, I'll be able to master um, that new task, I'll be able to achieve happiness. I am worth loving. I am worth um, living uh, in a happy relationship. I am worth uh, being able to accomplish uh, a career, to finish school. I am um, worthy of being loved by my parents, by my siblings, by my friends, uh, by my loved one, uh, by my children. Um, so. When I have a healthy enough self-esteem, my mood is going to be uh, positive. When I have low self-esteem, my mood is going to be low, which means that I'm going to be doubting myself all the time. I'm going to be double-guessing my decisions. I'm going to have insecurities. I'm going to have the mentality of, I cannot do this. I cannot accomplish that. Um, I'm not doing the right stuff. Um, and this self-doubt, this type of um, mentality is going to affect my ability to feel hopeful about my future. Uh, I will start doubting myself about, am I able to be married? Am I able to find a mate who is going to love me? Am I able to accomplish this new task? Am I able to finish my education to become a professional, to become a, a worker with special skills? Am I able to accomplish um, goals that uh, will make my life more joyful? So self-esteem can be modified, can be altered can be reshaped, can be improved. Uh, it's going to take time, it's going to take, take work, um, but it's uh, possible. Self-esteem is a big marker for someone who might be experiencing depression, who might be experiencing dependent uh, personality issues, that might be, that might be experiencing um, chronic problems in relationships. Um, relationships with my spouse, relationship with my parents, relationship with my siblings, relationship with my children. So self-esteem is a vital element of my psychology uh, or psychological makeup of who I am. And having a uh, healthy enough self-esteem is extremely important to be able to believe that I have the capacity that I deserved and that I could conquer uh, the things that make me happy.
If you have more questions, go to their website and it's listed on, on the top of this video. And then uh, and you could ask me more questions about uh, self-esteem or questions that you might have about if you have a good enough uh, self-esteem or if your self-esteem could be improved. Um, so that's all for now. I hope this uh, small video clip helps you to question about uh, how your self-esteem, the healthy uh, status of your health, health uh, of your self-esteem, and how you could improve your self-esteem. Until the next time, uh, take care of yourself, love yourself, and know that you're worth working for it. Bye bye.